hello guys welcome back to my channel hope you're having a great week um today's a quick video but before we get to the video just want to appreciate you all for your wonderful love for always coming back to watch my video yeah guys so thank you all i appreciate you all love you all um today i'm going to be making a meat pie using um pasta what do they call it pasta pastry i'll show you guys okay let's get into the video Stands through the highways, through my shadow, towards the sun rays, and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. Okay, so this is the pastry I was saying. It's frozen at the moment. It's normally used for those pasta that they put filling inside. Because I have like three pack of this, I just want to try it to see if it will work on a meat pie. Because it looks quite strong enough to withhold meat pie filling as well. Yeah, it's been done already, it's frozen, so I'm trying to defrost it. That's why I put it in the um, this container to defrost. Okay guys, so that's the... Um, pastry I'm talking about it's mainly for pasta I think yeah okay guys so I'm going to be trying it and also let me just introduce you guys to the rest of the ingredients so we've got the shop onions here got some mist veg and we have our meat this one I'm using beef I'm using lamb rather than beef um, I'm using lamb okay and I got a bit of flour here. This is just to make it thicken. So I'm going to put some water inside. Let me bring the other ingredients like salt and seasoning. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So this is the remaining ingredient: chili powder. Please, if you don't like chili, don't put chili. I'm going to be using two non q because I want it to have nice taste. I'm going to be using um, thyme, and I'm going to be adding some season oil. And this here is my salt. Okay, guys, and I've already shown you the onion, minced veg, and the beef lamb. And um, this is some um, plain flour. Just put water just to make this the filling to be thicker. Okay, guys, so that's all my um, spices and stuff I'm going to use to make the filling. Okay, so let's get into making the filling. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be adding the mixing into the pan. I'm using the whole of this um, bag. I'm going to tell you guys how many grams is this in a minute. I don't really measure anything. I just use the whole thing. So this is 500 grams, just in case you just want to know. 500 grams. All right, guys. So what I normally do, I try to let the meat just cook through a bit, a little bit first if I had every other thing to it so I'm going to just cover it and then leave it to just like simmer up like as if it's starting to cook at the moment you can see it's still cold I'm putting my fingers which I'm not supposed to but my hands are cleaned washed so it's still, it's still looking like it's frozen but it's, it's cooking through at the bottom now normally you stay it but because I want to do something else that's why I want to close it Okay guys, so I'll come back in a second and show you guys. Okay guys, you can see the meat is um, in the cooking stage now. You can see. Okay, so I'm going to add the onions to it. I'm going to add my mixed veg. It's a frozen mixed veg. I'm not really having um, cooking oil because the meat has oil on it, and I don't really want oil, so much oil on the meat pie. So that's why I'm not adding oil to it. 
the lamb meat is, has oil on it okay guys so i'm using a bit of a medium heat here okay so i'm going to be adding my salt To get to know. And then I'm going to be adding a bit of chili powder. As I said, please, if you don't like chili powder, don't add it. Okay? If you don't like chili, don't add it. I'm going to be adding my dry thyme. Sorry for the noise, guys. I'm going to be adding my season oil. Stay. So now I'm going to be adding my chicken here, I'm just putting the two of them. Give it a stir. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding my flour that I mixed in water. I just had water to it. This is plain flour. I added water to it. This is to make the um, filling thicker. Like to make it stay together. Okay guys, so I'm going to stay now. Different now, it looks like it's, it's sticking. Can you see that? So, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to load it heat more and I'm going to cover it to just um, seam and so that the vegetable will be tender. The meat is already cooked, and I'm going to add just a little bit of water so that it get burnt. heat already to a very low heat because all I just want is just the vegetables to just tender which may suck because they are a little bit stay uncooked by looking at it okay I'm going to also taste it to make sure the maggi is salt everything is okay mm-hmm I said mm. Mm, tastes good. Tastes really yummy. Okay, guys, let's leave it to cook for just few, less than five minutes. Let's say two minutes. Cover it and leave it to cook for two minutes. Okay, guys, it's been two minutes. You can see the filling is ready. Yeah, so I'm going to off the cooker. See that it's ready. Sorry for the noise. 
Okay, so the filling is ready. So what you need to do now, take it from the cooker. I've set it aside. I'm just going to close it a bit there. So we are going to have to leave it to cool. Once it's cold, then you can start making the meat pie. Okay guys, so let's make the meat pie. I'm just going to use my pizza cutter to kind of separate them because they are stick to together. Although this nylon bag is on the other ones, but I just need to cut it out. Because it's a bit sticky, I've never used this pastry for meat pie before. So I'm going to put them on my tray with flour on it. This is a pasta pastry, as I said earlier on. Because I have a lot of it, my mom brought them for me. So I have quite a lot of it and I don't really know what to do with them. So I said, okay, let's make some meat pie out of them and see how it looks like. So these are going to be like mini meat pie. Yeah, it's quite stretchy though. The dough is quite stretchy. So I don't know how it's going to look like. I'm trying it with you guys, as you can see. So I'm going to put like three on the tray. Use the pizza cutter to just get them out of themselves. So I'm trying it with you guys the first time. I've never tried it before. <laughs> so let's hope, finger crossed, that it comes out nice, okay? Yeah, they are quite stretchy dough. The dough is quite stretchy. So you can see how very stretchy and sticky it is okay guys so let's try this three first and then we'll come back to this ones let's put some fillings yeah and also i've beat some eggs already and then of course you need your brush to brush them and then you also need your fork to prick when you finish okay so this is the meat pie um filling it's cool down as you can see it's cold already so i'm just going to take a bit and put it in the middle okay just like so let's hope it comes out looking really yummy <laughs> without getting looking funny because i have never tried this dough before okay guys so we are all trying it together the first time okay so i'm just going to flip it over as we normally do on meat pie so these are going to be mini meat pie just as i said before in no particular order i'm just flipping it anyhow okay guys please if you're enjoying this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up like subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so you can and don't forget to turn on the the post notification so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to know okay guys yeah okay so i'm just using the fork to prick so you can see what i'm doing with the fork Okay, guys, so let's really hope it comes out nice. So we are going to do this until we finish, if possible, until we finish the filling, if we don't run out of um, the pastry. I have a lot, but they are in the freezer. So I can only use the one I have already defrost. I can't take another one. It takes a while to get it to defrost. You have to leave it down to the following day until it properly defrosts itself okay guys so that's this one so now we are going to i've already prepared my oval tray over here with the baking paper parchment paper so i'm going to take the egg as you can see take the egg and just rub it on top Just rub it on top. Okay, 
so mini mini meat fry. I really hope it comes out nice. Okay guys, so now I'm going to transfer these three to the baking tray before I do more. I already put my oven on. They are very sticky, so the best would be to just make sure you put pow um, flour, not powder, <laughs> flour, dry flour on the tray. I decided to use my tray instead of using the surface because with the tray I can easily lift it and bring it to the parchment paper. Okay guys, so now we're going to make more. So I'm going to sprinkle more flour. I'm actually using plain flour, okay guys, in case you're wondering which flour I'm using. I'm using dry plain flour, okay? So I'm just going to put more there. let's see if we can do up to four this time around let's see make sure your hands are clean before you start this my hands are very clean in case you are wondering my hands are actually clean I don't think the tray is going to take four so we're going to continue making three okay guys so all you need to do if there is any one left here you need to cover it back because this um wrap is to stop it from getting dry so like this one's now the wrap is covering them okay yeah so let's get back to here okay guys so we'll do the same thing again just repeat what we did earlier on okay my daughter is doing a good job holding the camera she's a camera woman if not it's going to be a bit difficult to film holding the camera going back and forth and sometimes using a tripod is a bit that's way sorry guys for the noise the background noise okay guys so just do that and you fold it over again in no particular order just fold it in a way you feel it looks better because they are mini meat pie you can't afford to put too much fillings i think because i don't know how, how the pastry is going to react when you are cooking them in the oven so I avoid putting too much fillings inside but i'm hoping it's going to hold well because it's a pasta it's a pasta pastry Okay guys, so all we need to do again, just repeat what we did before. Use the, oh dear, sorry. Use the fork and just do this. And then prick them. I'm hoping the, the pasta will actually hold its shape when it's cooking. I mean, not to like, Word over, I mean, like open when it's cooking, so I'm hoping it will be okay. I'll just show you guys one of the two dough that got messed up. I'll show you how stretchy they are, just so you know. Sorry, guys, for the sorry. Okay hey guys, sorry for my washing machine. It's making so much vibration and so much noise. I have to pause the video for a second to just take care of something. Okay guys, so I'm just putting the 
using the eggs wash to just put on top okay guys so just like what i did before all you need to do is just do what i'm doing now if you are using the same pastry you don't have to use the same pastry guys i'm just trying this pastry out i've never used it before okay so i'm just trying this pastry out okay Okay, so now we take it so the tray. I think this particular one I'm holding, look at that. Can you guys see how how stretchy the dough is? It's very stretchy dough. And I think the filling of this one is a little bit too much. So it's actually coming out of the pie. But let's hope that it'll be alright when it's cooked. I think these are probably going to cook for maybe about five to ten minutes. I don't think they are going to take that long to cook because I don't want them to get burnt. So I don't know how they are going to react in the oven. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to repeat and continue doing this. I'm just going to repeat it, continue doing this until I finish all the dough here okay guys and afterwards i'll come and show you guys what's next all right okay guys so we've nearly finished making the meat pie as you can see it's remaining just one here remaining just one here and we've see the rest of them on the tray just to put them in the oven yeah so sorry for the noise my washing machine okay guys so the oven has been on now we've preheated the oven 200 gas mark we're well, not gas we don't use gas electric cooker so i've put it on 200. my cooker is a bit messed up because of the baking the flowers are everywhere okay guys so yeah so this is the last batch of um meat pie okay so the next thing to do it's just to put them on the oven for like about 10, 10 to 12 minutes. I think they should be ready by 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, guys, catch you up when it's done. I'll show you. Okay, guys, so I just brought it from the oven now. And this is how they are looking. Sorry, guys, for the background noise. Everybody's enjoying themselves so much. Neighbors, children, in the noise background. Yes, guys, so I think it's a little bit bumped, I think. But anyway, because it's a pastry, it's a... Um, pasta pastry so i don't know maybe that's why it looks like that oh and that's the the flour at the bottom because i didn't remove the flour see that because i intentionally left the flour at the bottom i didn't know how it would look like but anyway this is it um i don't know how it tastes but i'm sure it's going to taste good because the filling tastes yummy yeah so this is looking i think it's a little bit burnt i think <laughs> i actually reduced the heat um I, that's because i cook it a little bit past 12 minutes that's why i got a bit burnt but it actually looks okay yeah i was actually thinking it was going to break apart but it didn't break apart okay guys so that's my first try of using um pasta pastry to make meat pie okay guys let's bring the other one from the oven and let's see how that one is looking like okay guys so this is the second one i think it looks much better i took it out straight away i didn't want it to pass 12 minutes yeah i think this one looks much much better okay yeah guys so this is the finished um product i've put the other one i <laughs> put so many plates in it's a bit burnt compared to that one yeah so i think this one looks much better i think 12 minutes 10 minutes is even better i think 10 between between 8 to 10 minutes is better okay guys so this is my finished product yeah the flour is what makes the bottom to be white because i left the flour remember this is a pasta pastry i used it's not the normal meat pie pastry i used okay guys yeah so this is the end of this video yeah for my meat pie um pasta 
pastry meat pie okay guys yeah thanks for watching catch you guys in my next video stay blessed bye